<laughs> Wee Wee of Wee Wee's World is cooking up a special dish. And ooh, she is doing it nicely. What y'all see right there is Winnie's. We doing Winnie's and Kraut. Not just a poor man food. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. This is gourmet cooking right here. We got the sauerkraut over there. Del Monte style. Uh, with some uh, caramelized onion in there. And a, about a spoonful of sugar. That's it. Helps the medicine go down. Yeah. Helps, the me helps the sauerkraut go down. Sauerkraut go down. <laughs> just a spoonful of sugar helps the sauerkraut go down. <laughs> Y'all dancing with me, right? Now, check out these winnies. Now, she's going to take another cast iron skillet. She's going to heat them right there up. A little bit of earl. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, 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 give them a good char. Going to add it to the krauts. Now, we're using Ozark trails, of course. Now, uh, uh, hold on. That boiling water you see right there happened to be for some instant potatoes. Yeah, I kind of run out of my regular potatoes, but that's all right. Weebee's getting ready to put some of that parquet. Blue bonnet. Blue bonnet. Oh. No hydrated oil, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol. Oh, Lord. Now she got to be technical about it. She's all in that healthy cooking, y'all. She's in that healthy. And once that heats up, she's going to sit there and put these weenies in there. Serum. This is a go. Oh. Now we're going to sear those. Uh-huh. And then add them to the crap. And mush them around like a tall salad. <laughs> Yeah, good, I'm right. Add a spoonful of barbecue sauce to it. Just, that's right. Oh, that's me. Yes, sir. Y'all want some good home fry cooking that <laughs> happens to have a little German quality to it? Mmm. Mmm. Are you German? No. Okay. Irish. You're, Irish? You're Irish? Irish. No wonder. That explains a lot. Yeah, my grandpa was full blooded Irishman. Wow. Well, I say that, lady. Uh oh, that's it. Them beans are getting ready to go. Yeah. We're going to make this a shorter video. Getting ready for the taters. Come right back when everything's ready to rock and roll. Hmm. Oh, by the way, show headache. All I can say is, man, <coughs> brother, I wish you were here to smell the goodness. That sour crowd is oh so good. Can you hear what it's. Can you hear what we smell it? Can you hear what the weenies are cooking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got that on high heat, y'all. No, actually, that was me. I don't know how to work this apparatus. Y'all check out them buttons. There ain't no buttons on there. No numbers. You got to guess. They're homemade, too. Yeah, they homemade. All homemade. Just like Wee Wee. My baby is American made. <laughs> Born and bred in the USA from her. Short gray hair to her. Big. Uh, we is American made. Sauerkraut, baby. <laughs> Listen. They're singing. They're so happy. They love that skillet of hot tub goodness. In the blue bonnet margarine. That's all there is, folks. That's all it is. Here oh. it is, folks. We finna throw down with some Motown of the goodness. This is where black culture meets Germany. Oh, yeah. We're gonna let that cook down? Yeah, let it cook down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. We'd be right back because I gotta do me a taste sample. Just talking about sour things, they they put vinegar on their French fries. They don't put ketchup on their fries like we do. The heck you say? Yeah, on the boardwalk between Maryland and Delaware, when you go to the ocean, up on the boardwalk, the vending people, you can uh -huh. buy French fries. Yeah. And they just automatically put vinegar on them. I thought they were just plain. And when I took a bite, I went to my knees. That was some nasty stuff.
Seriously? Yeah. Them folks need to learn some good southern cooking. You they drizzle vinegar on their french fries. You don't put vinegar on french fries unless you're trying to make a pickle french fry. They put vinegar on them. It's the just the a is, thing. Oh, goodness gracious. That's, that's evil. I know. Tell them about it. Tell them about it, Roxy. Tell them that they need to learn. They need to learn something. Yeah. <coughs> Home style good southern cooking. Germany style. The uh, water there is boiling. Uh, and Weeby, the lovely assistant who's actually the master chef, is putting some blue bonnet in the water. Well, there's a piece of weenie. Is it a piece of weenie? Oh, I'll leave it in there. It'd be alright. That's protein, girl. Protein. It was on the fork. Sorry. Right. Two dollops. Two brother. dollops of brother. brothers. Yeah. Brothers. Yeah. If you want more, you do it at the table. Right. Taters to it. And we're going to add a little bit of milk. Also, we'll do the milk after yeah, this afterwards because we want this to thicken up real good. We we'll add a little bit of milk to tone it down. And for those of you who are dairy haters, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you can hate your cows if you want to, but cows are moo moo good. All right, now we got it thick enough to turn the power off or heat off, heat down, and we're ready to add the milk. Let me get the milk right quick. There it is, right there. Pop a top, my friend. This is all you need. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I, I know. We don't want it running. We want it thick. Now she's going to whisk it up. Put a little extra pepper in there. A little dash of salt. If you like salt, y'all. I'm telling you. Most of us now at our ages... I like my helper. Oh, yeah. oh well, let me show the helper there and see. Le Pierron, le, 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 le Pepe, le Pepe, let me Pepe Pepper. He good at peppering. Look at the pepper there, y'all. Oh, yes, sir. A little dash of salt there from little Pepe's brother. Mm hmm. Give her a good stir. And that's all you need. Oh, is it hot? Oh. Not really. I'm just scared me for a second. <laughs> look at the thickness. Oh, man, look at the goodness. A thick roux. This is all quick and easy meal, y'all. This is actually good campfire food. It's real easy to do. You gotta have no cast iron, but don't you wish you had yourself some cast iron like me? <clears throat> Look how that sauerkraut just sticks to it. Oh my goodness. There it is, y'all. Good country cooking, German style. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to put it all together on the plate. Oh. These are Nature Greens, Party Flake Rolls. These are absolutely fantastic. And they're only 88 cents. You can't go wrong with cheap and quality. Absolutely not. Party Flakes. All you gotta do is brown and serve. Just now I got the oven good and hot. It's on broil. You gotta sit there and pull the drawer down. Grab that right there. We got some brown and serve rolls, y'all. We got a little bit of margin on that blue bonnet. A pinch of salt and garlic powder. With a little bit of parsley flakes on top. Nighty night, we'll be right back. Let's now take a look. Ooh, the brownness. Oh, it smells so mm -mm good. Getting ready to pull them out. Just about maybe maybe another 15, 20 seconds. La 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 la. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, yes, ma'am, it's ready. Let's pull her out. Oh, 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 oh. Turn oh, oh. Make sure you turn it off, y'all. Oh, this is already off of there. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with your knobs again. Leave my knobs alone. I'll tell you what, I can't help but touch them knobs. They're, they're unique. Now, we're going to plate this up, folks. Be right back. Zoom in real close. Y'all, if this ain't green, it ain't me. You know what I mean? This is some good stuff right here. For presentations, I sat there and put a little extra black pepper on mine because I love black pepper and douse it with a little extra parsley flakes. Uncooked because it's just so good. Now, in reality, what I do is I mix my kraut and my potatoes together. However, for here on the video, I want to show the kraut and the wing. Oh, man. 
gonna give me a little tater. Put that together, and I'm gonna mix it in my mouth. Hmm. Folks, there ain't nothing no fire. This ain't maple leaf. This is a Maryland guarantee. If you don't like sauerkraut, you need to try this recipe because once you put that sweet baby raisin there, you got sauerkraut that has that bitter acidity type of flavor. Sweet baby raisin has that ultimate sweetness. It's like eating Chinese with sweet and sour sauce. It's exactly what it is. And this is fantastic. The mashed potatoes help to kind of neutralize anything that you do. It just it's good with mashed potatoes. And I gotta give credit where credit is due. And that happened to be Kimberly of Kimberly's Yard that introduced me to this Yankee food. <laughs> Even though it is from Germany. You know what I mean? Oh, got to try the roll. Margarine. Now, I like butter, but we don't have no butter. We got blue bonnet margarine. Margarine on top, margarine on the bottom. Bacon syrup roll with a little bit of garlic powder. A tiny bit of actual salt. That way I can control it. Parsley flakes on top, don't that pretty, it looks good, but does it taste good? Oh my goodness, I need to open up a restaurant. So until next time. This is Amateur Charles Marty Channel once again from Mainland here at Wee Wee's World because this is going on her channel because she deserves credit. Master Chef. Look out, Bones Yard. Just because you think you got that chef's hat. <laughs> Wee Wee got your stump, man. Wow. Look at that. She's sitting there obedient. What? For real? Want one, Roxy? Come get You want one? Dang, dog. I thought, I didn't know Chihuahuas from Germany. You, what? You like that crap? <laughs> Come here.